Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Plays Dead State. In our last episode we have built the fence around the school and we asked our people to start working on a fridge, I think. And we are going to go to uh, some of the areas around the town. Now, of course we only see these, but believe me, all this map is filled with areas like this, these, where we'll be able to go. Um, I don't think there was anything left in the Lano commercial area. I think we got everything, so we'll never come back, go back there ever. We will go to the Brady Pharmacy because we need um, medicine for one of our, uh, I, I won't say Collins, one of our survivors who is hurt. Now, of course, uh, getting the, the further you get from the school, the more dangerous the area is. All right, so we start facing the wrong way. That's great. And we ask our people to reload before it costs them AP. Because AP is actually too good to waste on reloads. So what do we do now? We have to search everything. I'm going to grab everything we can and do that in the most silenced and careful manner. There is an enemy here, but I don't want to go attack him yet just because there are others around. And if we do kill him, although it will be silent, these are too close to not realize what we'll do. So we're going to go around them and try to kill all of these stragglers before we get to the main meal, the uh, main course. So this, the, uh, it's a good idea to go behind... Oh, shit! All right, he didn't see us. Everything's great. Uh, it's a good idea to go behind buildings and not <laughs> run too much around like I just did. I almost got surprised by this guy. So remember, they don't see you here. Oh shit, he saw it's there. Should have pressed the button. It doesn't matter. They will attack once. All right, Joel, you can you? Oh, he can't. All right, I'm going to ask him. No, wait. Go here. He'll be in a better position on the next turn. If she goes here, she gets two attacks at 65%. So let's try that. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. Damn it. And she's going to stay there. Is she? No, she's going to move around. And we could attack three times at 70% or move twice and attack twice at 80%. So this is going to be better. The AI, how it works against uh, with zombies, is they'll attack whoever is the closest. And we do want Jessie to be attacked because I'm pretty sure she won't die of um, the zombie virus if she gets zombied. Oh damn, can't attack more than once. This is bad. All right, there you go. So since we've killed them, uh, this looter by melee, uh, it's a looter corpse, by the way, it's not a looter. So since we've killed them by melee, uh, we haven't made any noise and no zombies will follow us. Now, some of the stuff we get here is bad for us. These insects actually um, drop the morale, but they are worth food. So, because of course eating insects is, is not fun. But we will keep them just in case. And the rats are perishable, but we can eat them if we want to. But they will also remove some of the morale. And the rotten fruits, well, these we'll use in the future, but not yet. Don't quite remember why we're going to use them, but we're going to use them. Let's try to sneak up on this... Uh, male corpse. All right, this is perfect. Because the AI, as I said before, I think I said it before, it only triggers when you've um, entered 
uh, once you're done entering the square but you can start the fights before you enter it and the animation will complete so you gain one free move so we're going to position our people uh, on the sides so Jesse will get the brunt of the attack but they'll be able to be there uh, on the next turn or you know we don't need them at all and just kill everybody by ourselves we are quite badass it's Jesse you know you remember Jesse from RimWorld she's awesome Ooh, careful there running actually makes more noise than walking of course that's just like real life and I'm quite happy we went on this side because if we have we, if we had gone from this side when we entered this area this guy would have seen us all right three movements that's perfect attack twice ah shit we didn't get him all right it doesn't matter another well I'm not gonna use that trick yet but there's another trick to make sure that we are a lot harder to kill oh we get two attacks great because we surprised them that's perfect so the other trick is to actually enter the ooh that's great those are all this these sunglasses are um <laughs> allowing us to tell people we're able to deal with it but they're in equipment so I'm gonna grab it it's useless but yeah why not yeah we look damn cool now look at this uh, there you go look at me I'm awesome all right oh careful there's another rotting female there nothing there all right so once we kill that one uh, we'll, we'll have to go inwards this door is unlocked which means we get to go in there for free and oh shit I messed it up did I? I think I messed it up five and five yeah it's gonna go here and wait she's going to go here and wait and Jesse will go back attack twice 90% is still good enough. Oh, wait, what? She turned around. Normally when they turn around, they, they're... Anyway. Uh, I'm going to try and use... Th these are our abilities. This is the don't panic. So anybody that's panicked or about to be will stop. And this, it makes one of our people go, uh, play again. So I'm going to ask Joel for that and this is a double-edged sword because they will get to attack right now which is good when there's only one left to attack but they would that their turn counts so if that was the second turn they would skip that because they they have played it already so they we have to be careful about using this ability but as I said before when it's for one person it's all right these data items are going to be useful in the future but I'll come back to that later and since the front door was locked there are no enemies inside which is great so we're just gonna grab everything these are magazines mostly so this is good for morale but that's it Oop, grab everything and go outside from the back Alright, so now we have to think, how do we want to take care of these enemy here? The way I'm thinking is I'm actually going to make some noise by attacking this door. And let's see if we tracked anybody. Doesn't look like we did, so that's going to be a free door for us. Because we'll get to destroy it uh, without enemies reacting. Ooh, oh yeah I forgot to say you can see our sound on the top left here I forgot about it because my overlay is over that but you don't see it so uh, in the green nobody hears us in the yellow 
there's a small circle of people around that can hear us and this adds so this is a 31 but if I shoot it twice this goes at 59 this is, sound does not work in this game as it does in real life but it doesn't matter so this was an empty building which is too bad but you know we've done what we needed to and the sound goes down but once it gets red basically every enemy in the area will come towards us so now we have an actual problem because we've got two zombies here and there's a third here I think yeah there you go so we have to start thinking smart because we cannot use the um, same technique of just going on the back because we'd get to kill this dead looter but the decomposing woman would have reached us before um, we can do anything about her so the way we're gonna work is we're going to track them in a trap and to do that, we will need to make some noise. Make some noise for the Venga, for the Venga boys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, so we're gonna make some noise here, and yeah, we've attracted her. Perfect. And now we wait. As you can see, I started the fight way before she can reach us. That's because zombies, just like us, have um, action points and it costs them action points to attack just as it does for us so she will move eight squares I think so that's one two three four five six seven eight she will reach this area which means that if I can place our people strategically like this she won't be able to attack but she will be able to reach us so we just have to wait for her to join us and then we'll get to hit her because once she walked she used all of her AP and she cannot she doesn't have enough anymore to attack us <clears throat> oops oh wow almost got things wrong that's for sure so this is a way to I guess cheese the game a little bit um, to make it so that we have an actual fighting chance. Oh god damn it. Alright, this is good. And this is the end of the fight. That's great. Because now we get to open this door for free again. Because we've noticed that the other zombies don't come. Might as well try to make a lot of noise. Ah. Uh, no, I'm gonna wait until this reaches a lower level so that's good and we can go there may be zombies inside oh there that's not a zombie that's an actual looter so they've got guns we have to be careful about that so we're going to move on the side wait there and the looter yeah damn it and the looter has shot so that's noise. Alright, that's good. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. I wonder if I can attack. No, I can't. There's a line of sight. And since Jesse is in the way. Alright, there we go. That's great. Move to the side and let. Uh, Renee, oh great, she has DZ'd him, so he will get a lot of penalties on his attack. Move back, damn it! Oh, that's bad. The good thing about okay, okay, that's that's all right, that's all right. The good thing about um, ranged weapons like this one is that they um, they do not create a possibility for zombies uh, zombieism so we'll be safe from that if we get shot I guess perfect when he's on the ground he's not dead yet he is just uh, bleeding out 
Uh, we have to prepare. Oh, I think that's good enough. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have to wait here. Oh, shit. Get here and come here. So uh, when they're downed, they can still be healed. Um, this one won't be because he doesn't have any friends, but when we fight a lot of enemies, they, they, they will be able to heal their friends. And we'll have to be careful about that. There you go, once more. Perfect. It's almost dead. Perfect. All right. This is good. Um, also, enemies that... Oh, shit. Another... <laughs> Enemies that are down, like the uh, looter inside, can be zombified. And actually, we have to be careful about that because any attack from any zombies will actually zombify them. Now, one of the things I love about the AI for zombies is that they do not care about who they're attacking. They are going to attack our enemies, they are going to attack us. Whoever is the closest will get attacked. So nobody's safe from them. So we have to be careful about killing them from a distance when there's zombies around them. And if we do manage to kill humans before they get attacked by zombies, then we usually have a chance to um, not have them come back as zombies. I hope that made sense. Alright, so we have to go and kill him and hope that he wasn't infected to begin with. So far so good. Ooh, he had a gun, that's great. No more bullets though, that's less great, but yeah. You can take, you can take what you can. Oops, press the wrong button. Kitchen drawer, that's a lot of food. I'm only using Jessie to carry stuff for now because she's the strongest, I think. But eventually we'll give, um, once she's full, basically, we'll give some of the items to the other characters. Did I get everybody? I think I did. And that's... Oh, there's still these two. Okay. That's a bit disappointing. I was hoping we'd have gotten them. Uh, should we go inside first? I think not. I think I'm going to go try to do something a little bit better. And I'm going to ask Renee to heal us before anything else happens. She's gonna heal Joel. He'll be at full, but uh, 95. And she's gonna heal herself, I think she can, yep. And just like that, everybody's at full health, except for the temporary, permanent, uh, no, no, I, I made the same mistake as the first time. Temporary, maximum health down. Okay, so now, we go slowly. This one is, I don't know if you can see it, but this one is one square behind. So he's closer. And there. Perfect. Right now, this is not enough to kill them in one shot, but it will be eventually. Ooh, actually, yeah, we managed to not warn the other one. That's perfect. Uh, are we in the same? There you go. I can't see the grid, so I have to guess. When they turn around, usually it means they kill them in one shot. I'm a bit bummed that this doesn't work. So that's four AP and one, two, three, four. All right, go here. Fifteen percent chance. Damn, that's low. Forget about it. Tried to uh, grapple, didn't work. Attacked once, missed. Ooh, we counterattacked. That's awesome. And yeah, there you go. There you go. Everything's great. Um, we have bullets, so we're going to give the bullets to Joel, but not yet. It's not necessary. He's already got enough to reload by himself. Alright, so let's see if there are any more zombies around. Because I'm pretty sure there are some in this um, mart. 
or giddy up drugs, whatever. So we'll go to the laundry first, the laundromat. See, there's still at least one zombie around. I don't know where it is. Oh, there are humans. Shit, I think they're here. Well, shh. <laughs> That's not a human. That is a zombie. Um. Alright, let's do it like that. And that's good. Joel, can you go here and attack? You cannot. There are at least three humans. It's disappointing, to say the least. Six and one attack. Alright, the humans are actually spending in turns and they're coming. They're, they've seen us and they are attacking us which is quite of a bummer because next time well if i had known basically they were still there i would have played things so that they'd get attacked by the zombies first all right he's going to set this gun active and wait for them same goes for renee the guy with the axe is not the scary guy the guy with the gun is the scary guy and can she move? Yeah, she can move and attack, so she'll do that. And we'll use the shotgun on the guy with the axe. Four and 95% chance, it's great. Uh, Jesse, I don't want her to be hurt so far, so I'm gonna hide her. Uh, I mean, uh, Renee, I don't want to get hurt. Ouch. Ooh, we do want this axe though. And the AI. Missed. Perfect. So she will use the shotgun and. Oh, geez, that's terrible. 75%. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Set this as an active and move once. That's good. And Joel will shoot twice. Let's hope it's enough. Badly wounded, it won't be. Oh, no, that's good. She's, she's down. Perfect. And she can move four, three, six, 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 ten. Uh, damn it. Move to the back. That was perfect. Move twice, just to, just to be sure. And uh, she, he missed. She missed. Is there another one? Oh, no. It's the, this one is ble bleeding. That's where it's, that comes from. Attack from the side, and that should be enough. Come on. It was not enough. I'm not gonna waste bullets though at this point. This guy's dead. Yeah, perfect. And Jesse will kill them. Ah, crap. Oh, there's. Ooh, there's another one. Damn it. Reload and move one. Run away. He's got a machete. Perfect. Alright, she's going to kill this one. Just in case uh, we don't want her to come back. If she gets healed or something. So, let's keep, keep it like that. I'm gonna get the gun out, but not use it yet. Ah, shit. Yeah, you see, this is what I was talking about. So, this one was infected already. Damn it. I hope the other one doesn't come up because uh, that would be quite annoying. Uh, female leader, 85%. Come on. Ah, that was not enough. All right, well. Damn it. Not enough. Still? Uh, this one just waited? <laughs> you can see the zombie still has the gun in its hand, but it's not using it. 70% is good enough. And you can see the um, sound just grow up as the enemies get attacked. Ooh, oh, no, that's good. It wasn't as much damage as I was fearing. Alright, and let's hope this one does not come back. Oh, 
We could also go for a wild swing or try to cripple, but uh, you know what? Why not? Let's go and wild swing at him. This does a little less. Oh, it lowers the to hit chance, but uh, gets a bigger critical chance. Perfect. So now it's dizzy. He's dizzy. It's not a hits yet. All right, and the poison. I do not know where that comes from. Let's wait. Yeah, I knew he would come back. So, well, we're already placed, so might as well kill him. You see, he turned around and now he's dead. Perfect. So I think that takes care of everybody in the map here. So we're going to grab everything we can. Ooh, that axe is mine now. So, um, the axe here, it does 6 noise, it costs 6 AP, but it does 20 to 35, which is much more than this. The reason why I'm taking it is because, actually I should have both, I think, because I can't use the gun anymore. The reason why I'm taking it is because, um... Uh, it can attack from a diagonal, so that's huge. And the reason why I'm still keeping the hammer in first is because I can use it and then exchange it for the big one, the big weapon, without losing AP. Whereas if I did make this, you see this one becomes 5 AP because it takes in consideration the 2 AP it would take to set as an active. Um, so male looter is done, and the angry looter is done too. Female looter had a gun. Ooh. Also, some guns have bullets in them, and we can unload them and use these bullets for different things. And there you go. You've got 9mm ammo and .38 ammo. So I'm going to give to Joel this. I'm gonna give him the 9mm. I think it does more damage. So that's 4 AP and uh, 20 30 damage and 25 to 35, 4 AP. Yeah, this is better. So I'm gonna give it to Joel and I'm gonna give him the 9mm ammo. Shouldn't have, should not have unloaded it, but it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna get the Decomposing women, that's done. The dead looter, I think that's done too. Perfect. And we did not go into the laundry yet. Because we attracted everything. So we'll get some shirts, which are good for morale. Because clean shirts, you know, it's always useful. And a small toolbox. Ooh. Right, we've reached the end of how much weight we can lift. So Renee will now take care of the rest of the stuff. And if she is full, well, we'll ask for Joel's help. But I don't think it's going to be necessary for now. Freezer. This is a pharmacy. So we'll get uh, this sutium. Uh, it removes panic from for a day. So you can use these at the beginning of a map and they'll never get panicked. Stuporax gives a bonus to accuracy. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Those are all the other ones are moral items. Oh, there you go. Those are antibiotics, and these are the main prize of the game. So these are super useful because if you get infected, you need to take one of these every day until the end of the game. So you need to have a lot of those in case in case some of our people get infected. But let's not Let's hope it doesn't happen. And Kadeen is just healing as we've used before and vitamins is just morale. But that's great. Uh, did I take them or did I not? No, I didn't. All right, there you go. So these are the prize we went, we came here for that. So the more we have, the better. And well, uh, of course, some areas are more likely to have them. Um, pharmacies, Hospitals, stuff like that, will have a lot more of these than, let's say, a house in the middle of nowhere. 
And I think that's it. We've covered all of this map. Um, we've killed everything. We've looted everything. I think we've got that car too. Yeah, we did. All right, so that's good enough. We will come back. Now, I have to think because our people still have a lot of space in their inventory left. So, well, I'm going to end the video here, but I'm not sure I'm going to come back home yet. Uh, but you'll see that on the next video. In any case, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. I would love to chat with you guys. And in any case, I hope you had a wonderful day. You have, you will have, whatever. I hope that whatever day you're having right now, it is wonderful. And I'll see you next time.